Hey guys, welcome back to Where's Zenden. My name is Valerie and today is such an exciting video. I have the So Jaded eyeshadow palette and not only the palette, but I got it signed. I got it signed by her, oh my god. I was so hopeful, so, so, so hopeful that I would get it signed, but I'm always like, mm, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Like, no, there's no way. But yeah, I guess because I literally bought it the second it went on sale. I checked out within five minutes, so I got so lucky and got the signed one. So I'm so, so excited. It's so gorgeous. Like even the packaging, just a bunch of crystals everywhere wear different colors i love it and the back it's just all the names of the eyeshadows with more crystals in the back and you open it up and this is the top with the kathleen lights x color pop with more crystals on it and this is the palette she is so beautiful i actually really like it because it has so many different colors that you can just make endless amounts of looks so it was so hard to choose a look to create with this palette so if you guys want to see me use it more i'd be more than happy to do it and if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep watching all right since i want this video to be mainly and only about the eyeshadow palette i already did my makeup off camera oh my god guys i literally screamed forever and jumped around in the longest time because i got the signed eyeshadow palette i had no idea that i would actually get it and i came home from work super exhausted and like stressed out and i came home to this and that just like completely made my night i'm so excited to show you guys what i'm gonna create and i'm obviously gonna do more looks because this palette is so big wait let me show you let me show you look how gorgeous and humongous this is i've been playing around with it since i got it so i just had to boil it down to one look so i hope you guys like it i'm gonna start off and prime my eyelid and and I'm gonna use my MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I'm gonna use my Morphe M224 brush all right so I always do this and I just completely forgot I'm gonna zoom you guys in for the rest of the video so you guys can see super up close to my eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with the color Jade and I'm using my Luxie one to one brush. Alright, so now that I blended out the jade color, I'm just going to go ahead and go back in with my Morphe 224 brush. And I'm actually going to cut the crease and I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium to do that. So what I always do is I apply some on my lid and then I just look all the way up. And that's where my crease ends. So I tried my best to make it as perfect as possible. My crease is so high, like my eyelids are so large that I have to go like a lot up or at least that's how I feel. This is really weird. I'm just like... Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with shading inside the cut crease. And I'm going to go in with my Luxie 245 brush. And I'm going to wet it with my Skin & Co Mist just so I can intensify the glitter. And I'm going to go in with the beautiful color Smoky Quartz. So I just want to mention, since I forgot to mention it when I was applying the jade color, um, it is so pigmented and super easy to blend. That's the one thing that I was scared of because I was honestly so scared of playing with jade. I have never played with the olive green type of color and I was just so scared that it was going to get super muddy and it was just going to look really bad. But um, I'm pretty shocked that I'm using it and it's super blendable and pigmented. So I think if you're scared of it too, just go for it. Like you're going to love it. It's such a beautiful color. And also with Smoky Quartz, 
oh my god the pigment is real i mean i did add a mist obviously but i feel like even using it alone would be amazing but i'm just like so impressed with the formula all right so i'm gonna go back in and i'm gonna use my morphe m124 so i'm gonna wet the brush with the same mist that i used before and i'm gonna go in with the color aquamarine So for the next color, I'm going to use this little brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's from Inmo. And again, I'm going to do the spraying with the mist. And for the final color, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite colors of the whole palette. And it's the color Emerald. All right, we're almost done, I promise. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 506 brush. And I'm just going to tap in back into the jade color and put it on my lower lash line. All right, I'm going to grab my brush, the Morphe E37. And I'm going to dip it into the gorgeous diamond shade right here and just apply it in the inner corners of my eye. So one final thing that I just wanted to add to give it a little bit more of something. Um, I'm actually going to go in with the shade Opal right here and I'm just going to apply it on top of the aquamarine color. Alright, so I'm gonna go off camera, apply my mascara, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on the palette. Alright, so now that we're completely done with the eyes, I'm gonna move on to the last step, and I'm gonna use my favorite lip gloss of the moment right now. Um, it's a little faded, but this is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. I was trying out some lipsticks to put on and then like my lips got super stained. I don't know if you can tell. So I just decided to do something more neutral and I love how this smells. It smells like candy bakery and I really love this lip gloss. Alright guys, this is it for this video. I hope you liked this eyeshadow look that I created for you. And let me know what you guys think of it. And also, if you have your hands on this beautiful baby, let me know how you like it. I am so obsessed. I was playing around with it for a couple of days when I got it. And I like all the colors. The only color that I think has a little bit of a fallout is the one that I used today, the aquamarine color. But... Honestly, I don't care about that, but I know that some people might care, so just letting you guys know. I think right now it's sold out. By the time I post this video, it might be back in stock. I'm not sure. I cannot believe it. I feel so blessed that I got the signed one. I, I, I can't. I can't believe, like she had this in her presence like what in my last video i used the zodiac palette so if you guys are interested in watching that i'm gonna leave the link down below or i'm just gonna leave the little pop-up somewhere around here up there so you guys can see it if you are interested in it i am dying to create more looks with this so if you guys are interested in that please let me know and i would be so so happy to record it for you guys because look there's so many colors and it was so hard to choose to film this look because i had so many different looks in mind so yeah if you guys want more looks let me know and i'll be more than happy to do it for you guys all right and if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe it would mean the world to me and like this video if you like it i'm also gonna leave my social media handles above up here or here so you guys can follow me and see when my next video is up i will be definitely definitely doing more looks with this eyeshadow palette so i hope you guys come back and see what i create and i hope you guys have an amazing day bye guys